Hey everybody, it's Gabby and I'm finally back after a hiatus of mystery months and time. Um, but I'm back to do some more doll content because yes, I still like dolls, okay? So today we're going to be talking about Jet Dawson. I have two of her. But I haven't done an unboxing because the only one that I had for the longest time was my numbered one. And I didn't want to take her out of the box. So I managed to find another one on sale. And I picked her up because I wanted to be able to review her. And also have one to have out of the box because she's so stunning. So um, yeah, so this is what all comes in the box you know it's just fabulous i got her on a really good deal she was only 18 dollars which made me think is something wrong with her um i don't think so only only thing i noticed is she does have a little mark on her cheek which could be the reason why i mean you know how some people are on facebook where they're like oh my god she's damaged and they return a doll that's like minorly screwed up yeah that's what I'm thinking happened here. But I got her at Target. I didn't see any of her other accessories missing, so I'm just assuming somebody decided um, she wasn't up to their quality standards, so yeah. Um, I do have another one of these. She is numbered number 888. I wouldn't say she's like my super favoritist, all-time favorite Rainbow High doll. Do I think she's stunning? Yes. But do I like Lily a little bit more? Yes. I think she's way... Um, more of like of a collector doll in my eyes she's beautiful she's gorgeous I want her I miss the fucking pre-sell for you know her numbered doll and I'm very sad <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and unbox her so you know I got my little scissors or whatever I'm not really too particular about like you know, destroying this box because I have another one, so I don't really care. I ended up throwing away, speaking of boxes, I threw away all of my boxes. I literally hoarded all of the boxes whenever I started collecting because I was like, oh, I love the box art. I'm going to do something with it. And then, yeah, they sat there. So I was very surprised to see this girl on sale. I literally almost bought her for $40, like probably a week before I found her for $18 and I was like oh my god I'm so glad I didn't freaking buy her for that ridiculous price it was only like $10 off but then again I did pay full price for the original one that I did get and she was $60 um so yeah uh dolls are expensive now and I don't like it um you know I was talking with my parents, well, not my parents, but my mom, about um, doll prices and how, you know, cheap they used to be. Like, I wouldn't say they were absolutely cheap, but they were cheaper than they are now. And it's kind of sad. Because what if I want to just buy a bunch of dolls? But I can't, because the dolls are individually like $100. Like, that's just not realistic. Maybe to somebody's budget, but to me, it's like, girl... I had to take a break of buying dolls because literally, uh, first of all, I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> I have to. I had to move back to Louisiana because my car decided it was gonna shit out on me. So I have to have car expenses and shit now. So here she is on her backing, very stunning. Um, she doesn't look like she'll be that difficult to get out of the box. I'm super excited about her. <laughs> Her accessories. I'm a little too hyped. Girl needs to calm down. Only thing I was worried about was her rooting, to be honest. Oh my god, her hair is super soft. Okay, hold on. Where's my scissors? I'm gonna cut her accessories out first. I'm very excited about these accessories. Like, I always wanted to be a fashion designer when I was growing up, so this would have been the perfect, like, little accessories for me to have. Um, cause like, you remember how the Bratz fashion packs used to come? Like, okay, think about, I, which ones, they were like the ones from like 2006 onward, um, where they came in like that couture packaging. It was like ooh la la kind of vibe, but like, I don't remember what they called them, but those used to come with like little mannequins and I thought that was like the coolest shit ever. Oh my God, rubber bands. I really love the little measuring tape. Oh my God, look. 
oh my god, and it's rainbow. You think I can measure myself with this? I'm so tiny and small. Um, we have the little stand. It's iridescent. Wow. Um, the text is a little off to the side. This is like whenever I'm trying to fill out like a board or something. And I don't really know where to center the letters. So I just kind of start and then I finish too soon. Um, I love this though because it'll definitely be a good display. Girl, let me tell you, I am struggling with my doll display right now. As you can see, there's like chaos going on. I just, I've been so like not in the mood to, to deal with that, if I'm being honest. Like, it's just so much. And then I have dolls in a container too that I just need to store. Here's the bottom coat rack with, um, it looks like working wheels. Very fun. Let me see if I can clip this in here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh my god, this is going to look so cute. I, I might actually put this in the house, actually. Because I do have the house now. Got a beautiful little sewing machine. With a, a twisty thing that makes the fake needle go up and down. Love that. This takes me back to home ec. <laughs> oh, why is the dress pinned to the boxes? That's kind of sussy. Okay, now why is this, why is this wrapped around this part? I don't like that. What the heck? Okay, they're definitely two different shoes. Every time I, I feel like my Vanessa Tempo had two of the same shoes. It was so irritating. Didn't get to file a claim because I freaking forgot. These are so cute. Do I want to take them off this plastic? No, because the laces are perfect. I probably will, though. I don't know, but I kind of like her original outfit. We'll see. We'll see. We might trade on her. What is this? Oh, okay. What, what is this? What, those items came in... A beautiful acrylic trunk as per usual okay in this acrylic trunk we have a single hanger wow very nice I guess that's because it, she comes with a dress and not a pair of pants ew that was gross I'm sorry <laughs> this is chaos on this channel let me tell you something I just my god, why would you do that? She's wearing leggings. I hate the way they do this sometimes. I hate all the plastic tethers. Like, why do we need 40 plastic things to hold her legs? Do you want me to cut her leggings? Do you want me to file a claim? Girl. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna lose it there. Okay. She's almost out. I gotta get her other arm and her hair and then she'll be out. Oh god, this is stressful. What the heck? Like the way it's rooted in just a moment. Okay, so here she is. Oh, girl. Okay, hold on. Let me remove her hair from her face. Hmm. Oh my god. Girl, what the heck is this colored side of her hair? You see that big ball spot, girl? What is that? Oh my god. Okay, girl, what is this arm doing? Okay, but she is. Let me check the eyebrows. Okay, they're fine, they're fine. <sighs> Baby girl, I'm obsessed with her. Oh, look at those beautiful eyes. Now, if you look at her face, you can maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't, like right here. There's like a smudge in her blush. Eh, I don't care. I'll, I'll airbrush some blush on this, honey, you know? Does she not come with earrings? That's weird. I could have sworn she would at least have earrings anyway, so... She's gorgeous. Her top knot is very small. It's smaller than it looked in the promo picture, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm pretty sure the one that I have in box has a better button than that, but that's okay. Okay. 
Oh, she's got a loose thread. She's got a loose thread right there, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting stuff out of the box. Let's take a look, let's take a look. Comb. She does come with a bottom hanger. Okay. That's her stand piece. It's the other part of the stand. It's on the side of the box. Don't forget it. Okay. Here is her second outfit that she designed. Very stunning. Very gorgeous. Very interesting color scheme. Red and black and silver. It's very Christmassy kind of. Um, has a pretty bow on the back. And then the bottom of the skirt has like this pretty frill. Oh, we have a little thing hooking it to it. It's very pretty. I love the layers. It's very holiday to me. I don't know about you. It's giving holiday vibes. Um, so that's everything out of the box. She's gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. She's got half rainbow, half black hair. A little top knot with it. Her hair is very, 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 very soft. Long. Mm, almost her ankles with it. Mm-hmm. She's got some little pleather gloves on. Oh, excuse me. Little pleather gloves on. R. R. No H. Hmm. She has a very sketchy outfit on with the leggings, the top. Her eyes are so pretty. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? And underneath, she has a gorgeous little hoodie. Wow. Show us the hoodie, girl. Yes. Show us the hoodie. Uh, has a, she has a, um, you know, one of these, like, joint at the waist part like under the boob area under the breasts these tights are funny i love that they're peach tone like it's pretty cool oh and then she has like the articulated ankles which i get it if you're trying to like you know like uh I had a little bit extra articulation, but to me, ankle articulation doesn't really mean much unless it's like different shoe styles or something. Because personally, I think it's annoying. I don't really like when boy dolls have it because it makes it harder to put their shoes on. Mm. Dang, she cute. Oh, and look, I'm going to show you this. She can kind of kick up her little heels with it. Mm. Oh. Let me make sure her joints work. I feel like I've never played with one of these before. She seems a lot less stiff than some of the other Rainbow High dolls that have. Well, all of them have articulation, but like they, she seems less stiff. Sometimes you have to like break them in, like with the the legs down here. But anyway, yeah, she's stunning. She is stunning. Loop blop. She's stunning, gorgeous. I can't wait to rinse her hair out. Here's my review. I think she's gorgeous. Do I think her hair could be thicker? Yes, um, because as you can see, she does have a little bit of bald spot in her colored hair region of her head. The black part isn't as bad, but it's, you know, for collector's doll, I would expect more. Um, if this were just regular Playline, which technically aren't they all Playline at this point, um, the regular Rainbow High Dolls, they have thicker hair than this and they cost, um, half the price, even though I got this one for $18. I think she's one of my favorites. Do I think she is my favorite? No. Do I think she's worth $60? If you got a number one, yes. If you're just gonna buy her regular, wait for her to go on sale. She's going on sale right now. You can probably get her for a good price. Um, I've seen some for like $28, $20, $40. Naming a price tool, girl. So yeah.